A few weeks ago, we started working on enclosing one side of our garage. We had a few things that were tricky to figure out, and we also had to learn how to frame with wood for the first time. But eventually we figured everything out and we were able to get the first side of the garage enclosed, which was a huge step forward for us. We got most of the stairs built on the interior of the garage, which you can see in our previous videos. And now we are ready to install the doors and windows to this side of the garage. So let's roll. First step we had to do was to finish installing the plywood, which was only a few small areas, so it went pretty fast. Then we installed the flashing and the sealant around the window frame. After we made sure that the window was level and everything was good, we screwed the window into place. Before we could install the entrance door into the garage, we have to remove this piece of wood from the bottom of the door frame, so we're just going to use the reciprocating saw to cut it out. So now we are pretty much ready to install this beautiful, gigantic fiberglass door. So once the door was in place, we did some adjustments to make sure everything worked well. And just like that, we have the door and the window to this side of our garage installed. Really makes a big difference and we are really happy to get this step out of the way. During that night, we went to bed while it was raining and woke up to something magical. It rarely snows on the coast, so it was really cool to see our property covered in snow. So we had to put construction on hold for a few days and work on some other things in the meantime. Eventually the snow turned back into fog, and then the sun came back for a few days. With the nice weather here, it was time to get back to work. Hello, everyone. Here we are on the ranch. 
Today we are going to be painting. So let me take you up and show you what we are gonna be painting today. All right, here we are up on the scaffold. So it's been some time since we painted our entrance structure with the epoxy primer. And now we are going to go over it with the black top coat that we've used for the whole house, like here, everywhere. So we are gonna use the airless spray gun to paint this whole side and this side over here. So we installed these two, this picture window in this glass panel and we are gonna do one more layer of black kind of where we did some touch-ups with the epoxy. So that's the plan. Let's go. Back down the ladder we go. My, my house is like some kind of adult, dangerous, acrobatic playground of sorts. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what's up for the airless sprayer. So we got the airless sprayer right here and what we have learned in the past, maybe you don't know and I can help you out, but the size of the tip, the first number, like they go, I think what I've seen, they go from three to about seven, maybe there's more, but the first number is the size of the fan. So the smaller the number, the smaller the fan, the larger the number, the larger the fan. And the second number, like 13, 15, 17, is the size of the opening. So the larger the number, the larger the opening, the, the more paint or stain or whatever that you're trying to spray will come out. So right now we have 312 right here in the, in there. <laughs> so we are gonna do a couple experiments on this cardboard over here to see what will work the best so we're just gonna gather all of the equipment and do some and test uh, some stuff out. So let's see what works. The paint master. Yep, I won few competi. I won few competition. <laughs> the the Pablo Picasso of our container house. Yeah. We prepared the paint by mixing it and then straining it through a paint strainer to remove any large particles. When the paint was all ready to go, we started to test the settings and here is where we ran into problems. We spent a solid amount of time trying to mess with the settings to try to get the paint to spray well, and man, we struggled. Eventually, we got it to sort of work and we went ahead and attempted to paint the third level exterior. We 
We started with painting the side of the container where we installed the glass panel and picture window, but the paint sprayer was not working. It was spraying a really irregular pattern and we spent a long time trying to figure out the settings to try to make it work. As per usual, every time for whatever reason we go to paint, we have issues. I don't know what it is about painting, but I don't know. Like we always have trouble. The equipment doesn't work. The paint is, actually no, the paint is usually fine, but it's just, it's, it's all equipment related. Like we struggle so hard trying to find the good equipment for the good application. And because we're doing such a large area, it makes sense to use the airless sprayer because you can paint a very, very, very large area in a very short amount of time. And it's going on hour number two, two and a half hours now. We've been trying to figure out this situation. We managed to paint all of this with the airless sprayer with the epoxy and that was okay. It did leave a couple areas where the paint kind of like melted, but we went back, there were very few. We went back and kind of fixed it and it was okay. So we made that work and all good. So now we're trying to do it with the top coat, which is a little bit thinner than the epoxy, but it's not super thin. It, but it's not super thick either. It's somewhere like in the middle. And nothing we're doing is working, nothing. Down there, we tested it out on the cardboard and it seemed like it was going okay. Um, it is not going okay at all. We cannot get the pattern and the amount of paint to be consistent. It's either like wait as we, and I think it has something to do with the pump, like maybe this, pump isn't strong enough to like keep up with the demand but when we spray it it's either like way too much paint and then it goes to like barely any paint and then it does like a weird pattern where it just like it is totally like inconsistent yeah i don't know we've tried different tips we've tried a different pressure we've tried just going between all of the settings and trying to figure out if there is maybe like a sweet spot in the middle and we cannot get it to work. And now we are up here, we have the paint here. Luckily this paint, if we don't use it, we can just put it back in the can, which is a blessing because with the epoxy, once it's mixed, <laughs> it's mixed. But yeah, so now we're up here and trying to figure this out we cannot figure it out let me see if i can do a little uh so we got the spray in this is 515 the tip so maybe you can see it let's try yeah so anyways that's just one example so we've gotten it to spray a little bit better than that that was terrible i don't even know maybe it's clogged but we filtered the paint we uh we did a lot to make it work and it is just straight up not working. We tried to paint over there. It's just so irregular. In general, it's just super frustrating. We're trying to make it work. I don't know how we can come up with a solution. We don't live in an area where we can just like go buy another uh, paint sprayer. We have to take a whole day and go uh, and get products. And it's gonna be raining for like the next like couple days. So if we don't do it today, we have to wait and we're pretty much ready to do it now so it's just really frustrating it's really challenging to deal with some things like that and i know a lot of people are always like oh why is it taking so long to build your house and this is one reason why is so here we are we're gonna spend a whole day 
trying to figure out how to paint something that we should have been done painting like an hour and a half ago. And we potentially might not even be able to paint. I don't know. We, we might consider rolling the paint on, but there's, what's challenging with that is we have so many like, it's not a flat surface. So there's other challenges that go with that method. Anyways, so I just crossed my fingers that we can figure it out and uh, I don't know, move forward because it sucks and uh, yeah. So we're trying to stay positive and just get through this little bump in the road, so. Unfortunately, we cannot paint today. It's a huge bummer. We have concluded that we don't think that this airless sprayer can give enough pressure for what we needed to do. So we need to wait until we can go to the store and get one that's a little bit better suited for our needs. Huge bummer, but what can you do? That sucks. Life must go on. What's up you guys? Back at it, round two, with the new and improved airless sprayer. So as you see over here, we went and got a more professional airless sprayer. It's probably not the best one that you can get, but at the same time, we didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on an airless sprayer. So we are working on setting this machine up. It's a little bit more complicated than the other machines that we had, but Hopefully it will do the job. So we are just gonna put everything together, test it, make sure everything's good before we go up there and attempt to paint again. <laughs> that, that's the only that's professional, so that should be all right. Yeah, fingers crossed because we have been having zero luck with the airless sprayer these days. The struggle is real, you guys. The struggle is real. All right, let's go. Okie so we are working on getting the machine set up and the settings dialed in before we go up there and paint. As you can see, the hose to this machine is really long. I think it's like 50 feet, so we're going to need quite a bit of paint to make it go that far. So I think we're going to have to take out more paint than we need, but after we can try to cycle it back in the, in the paint bucket. This airless sprayer worked a million times better than the previous one. And once we got the settings dialed in, we were ready to go. The spray was nice and even and it ended up working well. We started with the side of the house where the windows are and slowly worked our way to the other side. We were able to keep the airless sprayer on the ground, so I stayed nearby to monitor the paint level while Viant worked on spraying the paint on the third level. Mm -hmm. 
There are a lot of angles and sides to paint, so we took our time to make sure that we didn't miss any spots. And just like that, we were finally able to finish painting the third level. Okay, so I'm so glad uh, we did it. <laughs> Long story short, we got it done. The whole side up there is finally painted. And uh, now we are gonna go and clean the airless sprayer get all the paint out of the line, clean all the parts, which is always kind of a little bit of a production because there's a lot of parts and it's challenging to get them very clean. But before we do that, you guys need to take a second and look at Viant's face. Ta-da! Come in the sun, come in the sun. Is it bad? <laughs> It's not the worst that you've ever been, but my glasses is not the best either. <laughs> Insane. So hold on, tilt your head towards the sun. Oh, he's just like speckled black. I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but today I was the assist. Well, actually, usually when we paint, I'm the assistant. So I was monitoring the paint and running up and down and getting stuff and all that. Viant was the painter, and it shows on his face. <laughs> So we're gonna clean this bad boy and uh, yeah. I'm just so absolutely thankful that we were able to paint. We struggled pretty hard with this step. Like, whoo, that will test your, your patience and your sanity to deal with all these equipment issues. But glad it's done. Happy to be another step forward and moving on. Good job. After several days of weather and equipment setbacks, we finally persevered and made another few steps forward. 
This is the true reality of our journey to build our house. And honestly, sometimes it's really hard for us. Nevertheless, it's always important to navigate through these challenging times and figure out solutions to our problems. Little by little, we are building our little piece of paradise. Even if that means going to the hardware store and buying another airless sprayer. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.